Deputy McNamara and then Deputy Carey, is that okay? Thanks very much for um, coming into the Dáil to, to discuss this. It's, you know, sometimes ministers who are not from a particular department come in and take it, and I appreciate the fact that, you're, that you have come in to take this. This is an issue which affects my constituency, uh, the constituency I represent, I suppose, is, is evidenced by the fact that two of us raised, and it was also raised uh, in, in other manners by other um, uh, TDs and, indeed, senators. Um, um, I suppose we need to get the Coast Guard unit reinstated, but we need to address the issues that led us to where we are, because the reality is that there's a toxic working environment in the Coast Guard station in Doolan, has been for some time. And unfortunately, it's not unique to Doolan. It's right up and down the length and breadth of this country. There's an absolute lack of confidence in the most senior management in the Coast Guard by the rank and file. They feel that nobody has their back. They have no representative body. If they speak out, they are going to get singled out for disciplinary measures. They'll be accompanied by another volunteers they'll be accompanied by another volunteer. They don't have a representative body. There's, I appreciate an, an attempt to establish one, but it's the vast majority of people who are in it are former members rather than current members. So, you know, it, it really is a morass, Minister, and I, I don't, we're not going to solve it here tonight, but you need to take a, a long look at it. Uh, Deputy, or Minister Pascal O'Donoghue who spoke about visiting Doolan. Uh, I was at it myself when this lovely new shining Coast Guard station was opened, and the officer in charge there was Matty Shannon, a man who gave his life time to the Coast Guard in Doolan. Now, he left. Talk to him. Ask him why he left. Talk to the other people who left, the many others who've left Doolan. One by one, People don't, of, dead, of that sort of dedication don't leave unless there's something badly wrong. Talk to them. Don't talk to your, the head of the Coast Guard, because they'll, they'll give you a story. But it won't be one that will be shared by the rank and file in the ground. The, the temporary standing down of Doolan Coast Guard unit operations is a proportionate response having regard to significant ongoing attempts by the Coast Guard to address the unfortunate differences that have existed within the unit and their impact on the unit. Equally, the recent resignations of several Doolan Coast Guard volunteers have contributed to this decision. The key objective is to ensure the safety of the volunteers. The action has been taken in compliance with the search and rescue assurance obligations set out in the National Search and Rescue Plan. In relation to contingency plans, I've been advised by my officials that these are fully in place. In a sheer Coast Guard unit which falls under the direct management of the Doolan unit shall continue to remain fully operational. In the interim, the Coast Guard is liaising with other search and rescue stakeholders in the area to provide full cover for services that otherwise would be provided by the Doolan unit. The Coast Guard is currently de deploying various contingencies based on an assessment of risk within the area and in particular Kilkee and Kilaloo um, Coast Guard units. All other Coast Guard units, Shoreline and Cliff Rescue Services remain in place along with the four search and rescue Coast Guard helicopters. The RNLI, community rescue boats and naval services will continue to assist, particularly in those areas of greatest risk, until the issue has been resolved. The Coast Guard and the Department have taken these unfortunate differences within the Doolan Unit volunteers extremely seriously and have consistently strived over the last number of years to try to assist in the repair of the breakdown in relationships that have occurred within the unit. These actions include dignity and respect training for the Doolan Unit, a number of facilitated group meetings with the unit, one-to-one -one sessions with IRCG management and the Doolan unit members, an independent investigation by a HR consultancy with subsequent report and follow-up actions and recommendations. Follow-up actions included an intensive support package put in place with the coastal unit sector manager attending training sessions weekly in Doolan to monitor and assist in supervising the situation. However, unfortunately, during the period of March 2020 and April 2021, when there was limitations on volunteer training due to COVID restrictions, confidential counselling services were also uh, contracted by the Coast Guard and are readily available to all volunteers who wish to avail of these services. 
the Irish Coast Guard also very much acknowledges and recognises the strenuous efforts and leadership displayed by many members of the unit, its management team and other stakeholders to address these difficulties. The Irish Coast Guard will continue to offer support to all those affected by this event and with the aim to strengthen the unit's management structure, provide relevant training and mediation services as may be required. The Irish Coast Guard is committed to supporting the near 900 dedicated volunteers who help to provide important and life-saving services to the IRCG, and ongoing consultation with the Coast Guard volunteers is key to the success of the Coast Guard, and for this reason, the Coast Guard volunteers have for some time had a representative body called the Coastal Unit Advisory Group. This group represents Irish Coast Guard volunteers and provides advice and input to the Coast Guard under a read terms of reference between management and volunteers. This group re meets regularly and are involved in working with Coast Guard management to deliver world-class service while protecting the safety and well-being of volunteers within the Coast Guard units. And my office has been in touch with the Coastal Unit Advisory Group with a view to arranging a meeting shortly. Yeah. Mr. My understanding is that the Coastal Unit Advisory Group, so-called representative body, is COOIG which is basically a, a, a grouping of, of officers in charge. Now, that's, that's a good thing. No problem with it. That's a bit like saying that a collective of sergeants represents the, 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 the workforce of Angarda Shikran across the board. That's not the case. I mean, AGSI does not represent the entirety of Angarda Shikran. Never has, never will, never wasn't set up to do so. So I'd ask you to revisit that assumption. I'd also you know, ask you to look at the bigger issues why are so many leaving? Because as I say, people don't leave unless there's a problem. And unless management take the problem and deal with it, the culture within the Coast Guard is if you speak out, if you speak out for the, your fellow volunteers, you're targeted, you're silenced, it's toxic. And you're not going to get, the Coast Guard is not going to survive that unless you take it in hand. You, at a political level, because there's no confidence in the most senior management among the, 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 the volunteers, and that's what they are. Volunteers who risk their lives to try to protect others. We should never forget that. They deserve a lot better than what they're getting at the moment. The purpose of the Coastal Advisory Group is to provide a structured method of consultation and communication between the Irish Coast Guard and volunteer members. And what it does is it recognises a key role that the volunteers play in delivering uh, search and rescue in Ireland. And as such, it provides the volunteers with that formal opportunity to contribute and to consult and liaise on matters impacting on the performance of uh, search and rescue activities in which the volunteers are engaged. And it is for that reason that I have um, uh, contacted them in order to meet them, and I hope to do that shortly in relation to these issues. Um, I also um, want to say that um, just to reiterate that the Coast Guard and my department will continue to offer support to all those affected um, by this event in Doolan um, with the aim of strengthening the unit's management structure, providing relevant training and mediation services as may be required to resolve the issues within the unit with a view to returning Doolan uh, to operational readiness as quickly as practical, uh, as practical. And as advised by my officials, all other Coast Guard units, Shoreline and Cliff Rescue Services, services remain in place, along with the four search and rescue Coast Guard helicopters, the RNLI, community rescue boats and the naval service will continue to assist. And I share, I suppose, your, your praise um, and uh, here in relation to the great work of our 900 um, volunteers right across the, the country who provide an exemplary <laughs> service uh, to a public service in, in our time of need and they need to be supported. So I look forward to that engagement uh, with, with the um, Coast Unit Advisory Group. Thank you.